In this video we will describe what is sex-linked mutation. These recessive mutations are more complex than the others, as they will act differently in males and females. That is why they are known as sex-linked mutations. One of the sexual chromosomes of the females are not able to store genetic information about the mutations, that is why in case of the sex-linked mutations the females will only use one chromosome instead of both. This inheritance is found in Rose Icolus lovebirds. Nevertheless lately we have also seen some sex-linked mutations in eye rings lovebirds. Bird's genes are the opposite of mammals in birds the female is who determines the sex of the offspring. Normal sex testing such as DNA, or surgical sexing, typically doesn't need done on a sex-linked mutation, if only the male bird had the sex-linked mutation then any visual offspring he produces will be female. The sex-linked gene is pretty easy to understand, as the name says it is sex-linked. This means females can only be visual they cannot be split to it. Males can be visual or split to it though. This is also an easy way to sex babies, some as soon as they hatch, in offspring only daughters are visual opalane. Like when you pairing green opalane with green fisher. In offspring only daughters are visual opalane. So anytime only the male has the sex-linked mutation all babies born visually that sex-linked mutation will be females no need to do any form of DNA sexing, surgical sexing etc. If your female is visually any sex-linked mutation and your male is as well rather it is split to it or visual then you will get both males and females that are visual for the sex-linked. I hope the genetic sex-linked topic is well clear now. If you like our video, like, comment, and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.